Vietnam. Mu, hai, ba. Oh, see? What? Two Vietnamese right here? Yeah, three. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marianne. Hi, I'm Jay. Hi, I'm Ty. I'm Tona. And don't forget Sarge. Wolf. And together, we, we are, are the Tycho fam. fam. Hey, good morning, guys. Leaving Port Barton today. Let me go check out this last view. Check out where's it? We're, we're staying in a secondary road. But you could see the water out there. There's the beach right there. So, yeah. Port Barton. Today we're going back to Puerto Princesa. We're gonna see what else we can go do over there since we have a few more days. See you in a bit. Two hours later. Time to eat! <laughs> How do you say it in Vietnamese? Masala. <laughs> How is it? Pizza without the sauce. It's like pizza without the sauce. The bread smells good. Fresh and baked, look. Right over there. Bacon right in there. Ooh. Soup, yeah, that's her. Oh. Fresh, you get the fried. Even coffee. It's strong. It's strong. I tried mine. It's just like the real thing. It's legit. Oh, look at that. Oh man, that looks good. <laughs> Mmm, that looks good, Ty. It's tofu. Oh. Fried tofu. What do you want to get? Oh, we're sharing. Okay. He's digging right in there. What is that? Coffee jelly? Mm hmm I got the mango chia pudding. Vietnam. Vietnamese. Speaking of Vietnamese. Mu, hai, ba. Oh, see? What? Two Vietnamese right here. Yeah, three. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, we missed some Vietnamese. I know. <laughs> Fantastic. Welcome to Vietville. During the Vietnam War, did you know that the many Vietnamese immigrants who fled their country ended up seeking refuge in the Philippines? It was their first stopover before moving to other countries. And for some, the Philippines was home. Vietville, located in Puerto Princesa, Palawan, was one of the villages where Vietnamese refugees relocated to, and it became a lively, bustling village back in its day. Today, many of the families have left and moved on, and it's home to only the remaining few who stayed. The restaurant still holds the name to this community and history, which many tourists and locals still come by to visit. It's not only a good place to eat Vietnamese food, if you walk around and talk to some of the locals, you'll get a feel of the history. You'll see that Vietville definitely symbolizes the friendship and kindness by the Filipinos with the Vietnamese people. And as a Filipino, and even for those who are Vietnamese, it's a humbling part of history that makes you feel proud of the Filipino humanitarians that helped them out. And also the for the Vietnamese, who went through so much to start a new life in another country during rough times, all while continuing to spread their culture wherever they go. They're definitely resilient, just like the Filipinos. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. Now you guys know. And I met some Vietnamese cats. Yeah, there they go. Bye, guys. I was able to uh, <laughs> practice my Vietnamese. I missed it. I know. <laughs> that was for my Vietnamese homies back home. Yeah. Hey, we're here. So we just wanted to highlight more about the place that we stayed in Palawan. We stayed at Aziza Paradise Hotel in Puerto Princesa. The staff was amazing. We had 
such a hospitable experience. Yeah. They deserve a, <laughs> a shout out. We met a few staff members such as Josh. Mm -hmm. Hi, good evening everyone. I'm Joshua. I'm working at Paradise Hotel. Just come visit us here. Anything you need? Yeah. Yeah, so it's you. like for Look Josh. For He's yeah, a good he host. Just, yeah. He's really accommodating to the point where he always checks with us, he's talks really to us if we need anything. Yeah, he's and really cool. Yes, the other one is flat. <laughs> so flat. I didn't even catch it until you said, hey, this, this didn't look right. <laughs> there you go. So right. All right, thank you. Right. Thank you. <laughs> And then also Mark, the hotel manager, is always out there talking to everybody, including ourselves. And thank you guys for making us feel welcome. Oh, actually, we should talk more about the restaurant. The restaurant has breakfast included in our stay. Uh, we had breakfast included. It's a small menu, but every morning, um, it was Filipino breakfast, by the way. And every morning, it was something different, which was nice. So you're not expecting the same thing every day. Yeah. Dungit and Lunganisa for today. Woohoo! It's all my favorites. As far as the breakfast, they also have um, the bread station where you can make toast. They have uh, pandesal. They have other pastries that are really good. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, they have an egg station and pancakes. pancakes. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, you have options on top of just the rice and local breakfast. Yeah. Hey, we are going out for dinner. And then for lunch and dinner, they do have, also have a small menu, but um, you can get Western food, Filipino food, and there was a variety of like sandwiches, pasta, pizzas, chicken. Um, and then one night we ordered a, a big like platter. Filipino platter on served on a bilao. There it is. Look at this big tray. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> they need two people to. Ooh, dang! <laughs> wow! Look at all this. Oh! Wow! This one, this one, there it goes. Thank you. Ultimate sitting on All right, so here's what we got. We have pinakbet, chicken in a sauce, grilled tuna, pork lampo, and with sisig, and then sinigang for kona. How is it, Tana? It's good. <laughs> and it comes with this really cool, uh, what do you call this? Icy bomb. Bomb. <laughs> it's not here, guys. It's icy. And then we got the the local watermelon. yellow watermelon, which is good. And then all the salsa ones, all the good. And let's go eat, guys. All right. This is how much we've eaten. Did we do good? Did we do good? <laughs> I would say we did. For the two of us eating this, there's a lot of rice left, but you know we ate most of what was around. Look at all that. There's still sun sitting on. Looking pretty good. All right, I am full. Officially tap out. You guys tap out? Tap out. Tap out. Tap out. Throw in the towel. <laughs> throw it. Throw it. Everything is delicious. Yeah, it was Which really good. It was too much for us to handle. Yeah, we honestly needed like maybe one or two more people to eat since these kids don't really eat much. So. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be that big. <laughs> yeah. We didn't even finish it. It was a lot of food, but it was good. Um, Otto, John, the drivers, they offer a service where they can pick you up at the airport and then also drop you off at the airport if you're staying in their hotel. So you just gotta let them know in advance with your time, uh, when you arrive, and of course, when you get, leave. Yeah, it's in a convenient location. Everything is close to the airport. There's a lot of restaurants nearby, so you don't have to eat at the restaurant there. You could always you know, take a tricycle to go to another restaurant or order takeout. So everything there is pretty convenient in that area. Who Just else did we meet there? I think the tricycle driver's name was... Vince. Vince, he was able to uh, pick us up from the restaurant. Basically a personal service if you need one. Yeah. If you go to the restaurant and then after you eat dinner, he'll come and pick you up as long as you contact them and let yeah. know when. So, so pretty much everything there is pretty, I keep on saying pretty. <laughs> it's pretty, it was pretty there. It was pretty there. <laughs> they had all the amenities that we needed, Wi-Fi, a pool. So yeah, we just wanted to say thank you again for all the staff who helped us at 
Aziza, and uh, we're definitely gonna come back because we definitely love your service. You guys are amazing. <laughs> Tomorrow. Hey guys, we're going on a city tour today. Money.